So here's the little chickens. As you can see, they are getting very big. The meat chickens are almost ready to be processed. Dylan will do that. And all those four over there in the corner are my egg layers. They got feathers everywhere except for little heads. We still need some feathers on those heads before moving them out in the coop. So we've got some little chickens in the garage. They're about four weeks old. Five of them are going to be meat chickens and then I've got four egg layers. And they're getting real close to uh, getting big enough to go out in the coop fully feathered. So Dylan's been building me a chicken coop. We're gonna go look at his progress over here. They were thirsty. So my plans for the feed and the water in the chicken coop, I saw on Pinterest, there are some trash cans with some PVC pipe and then the little uh, water sprout things. I'll show you what I bought. So I got two trash cans here and then on the bottom of one of them, I'll have Dylan put these in there so that way I can just put feed in there and then the chickens can feed out of here. And then on the bottom of the other one, I got these little sideways spout things for chickens. And we'll put those in. That way I can just fill it up and they'll have lots of water. Let me know if you think this is a good idea down in the comments or if you got other ways of getting water and feed the chickens that will last a while. I got the trash cans because I'm probably not gonna have time uh, to go out there every single day and feed and water them, especially when I go to work. Um, so I wanted something that I could fill up and that would last, you know, at least three or four days for the chickens uh, without making a big mess and wasting any feed. So that's why the trash cans kind of seem like the best idea. It's super windy today uh, on the homestead and Kate and I are just outside doing chores. I uh, don't want to talk outside because it's so windy and all my other videos it's really hard to understand me because of the wind. So I was just going to uh, tell you guys what I'm going to do and then I'll show you around. I just want to give an update on the coop. Um, Dylan got a lot 
uh, progress done the past few days and he got the tin for the roof. So I was gonna show you a clip of that and how it's coming along. And he's got hinges for the doors. And then we're going to feed and water the goats and then water the dogs. So uh, I'll show you some video content of that. But like I said, I'm not gonna talk cause it's so windy out there. Uh, you won't be able to understand me. You ready, Bubby? What are we gonna do? <laughs> we gotta feed and water the goats. Yeah, and feed the dogs. And the dogs and water them. Are you gonna be my helper? Yeah. While your Bubby and your sissy are napping? Yeah. All right, let's go. So the chicken coop is pretty good size. As you can see, Cade can fit in here easily. I'm squatting and I have some room. So I think Dylan did a really good job making it big enough. I only want like 10 or 12 chickens. So I think this size will do fine. What are you guys doing? How'd you get up there, Cade? I, I hanged on to that thing. Oh. To get up here. And you climbed up there? Hand me this tart. What tart? That tart. This one? Yep. Alright, now take that and set it down right down there. Okay. What? Set this on that wood.
there. 